a black, mordant, sarcastic sense of humour is part of the Iranian psyche. And as war once again stalks the length and breadth of the Muslim world, one of Iran's most famous playwrights, Mohammad Shamshir, and director Reza Haddad have been pulling in the crowds in Tehran with funny nightmares by day and some by night, their fourth success in a row. It's a resolutely futuristic theatre performance art hybrid which has blossomed throughout August and September this year in a theatre hall in the heart of the Iranian capital. Seven actresses have been cast to depict the nightmare of war and all its catastrophes with extravagant costumes, dance and music that at turns beguiles and throbs like artillery fire. We're living in a world which has lots of anxiety about war. We're all worried about having another war in our country, and it's horrible for us. We live in a world in which dictators have encouraged resentment. It's a nightmare that doesn't leave us. In this performance, I tried to show these fears and nightmares. I try also to talk about them to the audience. In this world, not just in my homeland, but I think around the world, the big fear and anxiety is war, war and ruin, war in which children are the first victims. These are my concerns in this performance. Over the past three decades, most Iranians have endured the pressures of revolution, war, politics and isolation. Even a small new coda in such a relentless symphony can influence Iranians' daily lives. So this is probably the main reason why many Iranian artists choose political and social content for their works of art. Funny Nightmares is one such example. We have some concerns. The reality of these concerns, our intellectual analysis of the news and other information, brings us to the fact that we're faced with a big danger. A big catastrophe is coming. This is eating at my mind all the time. And as an author, these concerns are reflected in my work. Western audiences might be surprised to hear of a show in downtown Iran which features, for example, music by Radiohead or the Queens of the Stone Age. The funny side of things may also be lost on some, but Tehranis have been lapping it up, as have the critics, especially for its visual power. I'm trying to write about every part of this catastrophe and shape it into an ideographic form. By sharing our concerns and anxieties with the audience, we're searching to find a special language, some special images, some sort of different design and a different way of acting. We are trying to show this catastrophe to our audience as immediately as possible. The presidential election last June may have ushered in a more reformist period. Iranian artists who faced numerous constraints in recent years are likely to take full advantage. <laughs>